Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of the Battle Realm and Beyond podcast. We're on episode 108, yes. I'm pretty certain with that. I, I should really check the numbering, <laughs> but I, you know. In any case, we're available on where you find your podcasts. SoundCloud, Spotify, iTunes. Uh, we're not on Amazon yet, I need to look into that, but that's another job on the list. But in any case, we're we're back. This is this is this is good. This is good. We're uh do it. We're doing two in a row, Rich. We're doing two in a two, row. Two weeks is, in a row. Yeah. We did it. <laughs> yay, yes. Yay, um, consistency. Uh, and yay, Dan as well, who's kind of like yay. up as usual at like six a.m. in the morning to very yep. kindly kind of like uh, fit into schedule stuff. How are you doing, Dan? You said that just before we started recording, you were about to get some time off, which is great. With yeah, all the kind of like stuff I've you're got doing. like a, a real weekend. I've got both Saturday and Sunday off uh, this week. Uh, for the first time in probably like a month and a half. So that's going to be pretty sweet because I got a lot of stuff to <laughs> catch up on. And mm. uh, I just need to rest a little bit. So yeah, yeah it's uh, it's good. It's good because I got to um, I got to catch up on the seven star event because I hadn't fully absorbed all those rewards and how that whole thing worked when we, oh, when we yeah. last spoke last week. And then, you know, you were talking all about the spreadsheet. I was like, OK, on Saturday, I got to dive into this. I'm like, oh, holy crap. Like, there's a lot of stuff there. Yeah. Like, this is probably I don't know if it's going to be better than July 4th, but it might be. Yeah, so, that's, that's like, what I, I was like, all right, I got to set some time aside and, and start to push through this thing, which which I've been doing. But I got a lot of work to do on that thing this weekend before mm. this event expires, because, uh, you know, once we, you start talking like T6 selectors oh yeah you got you got to get focused yeah i've so. held on to so i've got a number two in my bottom right hand corner which is slightly triggering uh and that's <laughs> saying you've got to use your selectors but what i'm doing is i'm right. holding on to them mainly because i haven't 100 percent throne break and i haven't completed act 8.2 so yep. um i'm in a bit of a weird i've got a disaster on my hands uh, the yeah. disaster was of my four seven star crystals I opened. I got a a good dupe on my bishop. It's meant mm -hmm. like I'm really enjoying that that bishop seven star. Yeah, but um, it does mean that because I got a dupe, it means I can't go any further with my seven star shooting star quest. Oh right, because you need four to get through the gate. Yeah, yeah. So that's yeah. A, that's an, an annoying stumbling block I didn't bank on, which means yeah. that I'm unable to get more Paragon Crystals, which means I'm unable to do um, mm -hmm. that. And who just, who would have thought that kind of like, of all the champions, I was like, do you know what? It's a rare chance that I'll get a dupe on any of these seven right. stars. And it's like, right. fourth yeah. one, oh, Bishop dupe. And I was like, because I was like, mm. oh, that's cool. And then I went, oh, 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 oh. no. <laughs> You're so, like, the implications, no! Yeah, so it's good that I've opened it, but it's like, I can't... Right, of course. I can't get to, like, the next... Because it's, it's like 2,500... Not 2, sorry, it's... um, uh, What is it? Is it 4, I think it is there? So, if I... The, 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 the quick maths, Richard. 3,200 points. Uh, mm -hmm. Lost opportunity with the celebration event. So that's the problem with it. It's like, this event is great. Fantastic. It's yeah. free. And I think Kabam did an amazing job with adding it in. Low unit spent yes. to what you give back. But if anybody was in the same situation, and as I said when I was doing these spreadsheets, is I can't bank on what's going to happen. I can't make a spreadsheet for two hundred thousand accounts or you know fifty thousand accounts that are going to have a different right. Um, you know, some people will go, "Oh, I'm going to spend four thousand units on these things." That's fine. Well, the, the spreadsheet yeah, go won't help you out. It's just a case of yeah. going right. Well, if you're going from a point of zero units or x amount of seven stars then you're likely to get to this particular process it's a mm -hmm. oh it's always a sticky one um with it i yeah i'm now in crunch time so at the point of yeah, us recording I the, feel you on that the podcast i've got to i mean you're you're kind of more crunch time than than me but yeah in order to race to get my next seven star i'm gonna have to do one of the several things so um i've got a part two to the situation coming out Ooh. today sunday so nice how I'm looking to get out of the situation is get six stars or six star shards, open mm -hmm. six stars, open all my Cavalier crystals to date. Look at doing Act 8.2 if needed, but incursions first, mm -hmm. then do um, Act 8.2. Then see where I am with the, that full yep. process and a last minute attempt to, uh, it may even have to be a part three. It's just a case of like, 
doing all incursions, doing all a throne breaker, doing incursions, yeah, doing those three things first, and cavalry crystal and the crystal opening, and go right. Where am I up to? Yeah, can I get myself out of this situation? Can I get the next seven star? And the thing is, it could be another dupe seven star if I get. Yeah. There. So, right, yeah, you could do all that that work and be right back where you started. Yeah, on a plus side, yeah. that will free me next week to then 100%, uh, focus on 100%ing um, Act A.2 Act a. and mm-hmm. um, focusing on my... Uh, what, is it, what else will we be focusing on? Probably focusing on uh, arena grinding and then kind of yeah. like maybe maybe also uh, stuff that I didn't have time to do. I mean, you know, I'm technically unemployed or the... So I, I have to kind of like focus on my YouTube channel a bit. So at least there's... I'm, I'm finding positives. And that's the thing about when it comes to MCOC. You've got to find positives and things you're looking uh, forward uh, to, uh, to doing. But any case, enough, yeah, about, enough about me, Dan. <laughs> We're talking about my situation. I think it's interesting to kind of like note what, you know, how I'm looking to kind of get out certain stuff. Um, right. So this week we had uh, the Mantis. Um, I don't know if you've had time to do the side quest yet. I, I haven't done the Mantis fight, but I got a ton of messages about it yesterday <laughs> about how the SP3s cause no damage. And I, I was looking into that. And apparently, like, there's something where, like, the game's reading, like, you're yeah. you chaining into an sp3 as a basic attack and you're yeah. doing no damage it's it's kind of i mean i never trust power shield i know people yeah are, like i never do sp3s with it or if i get forced mm-hmm. to with like a hyperion i'll obviously i'll do it sure. um yeah but <laughs> you may um, not have a choice you may not have a choice because <laughs> you've got hurt locker on this one so yeah. you'll have to kind of rotate around different specials otherwise right right you're fricked so uh yeah yeah it's it's a difficult situation. I I actually it's annoying. By the end of it, I was like, I quite like this, but I had to go. I had to take so many L's to start getting W's. Sure. Yeah, and then that's that's the thing because my approach was different. Um, like wh- people would say, why why are you doing all the side quest difficulties, Cavalier Crystal Shards, trying to get out of my problem with the seven star situation? That's yeah. why I did it. Um, yeah. but uh, it was interesting to note, like how, again, like how the process of Okay, so sleep comes up uh, when it comes to expire, and you go into that kind of like uh, stun state um, mm-hmm. that I was throwing around um, my special attacks around that, which allowed me to kind of yep. like sort of bypass that situation, which was which was fun using bishop to kind of like completely slay that particular fight. Uh, nice. Other people were using different different things for it. Yeah, um, we're seeing some havocs in there. And- yeah. Yeah. So there are there were some kind of like good counters, but I do I do sympathise with people on that particular fight because it's it's not a nice fight when you get special locked and you need to perform a special attack sure. in order to bypass certain things. Uh, it's a tough tough one. It definitely yeah, got you they've thinking. Been, they've been throwing some interesting fight designs out there between that and some of the stuff in the um, the seven star quest is mm. not super intuitive the first time you read through it. I, there's been a couple times where I've started a fight. And I'd be like, wait, why am I dying? Oh, it's I hit into Medusa's block. And yeah. now they're reversing the regen from the, the <laughs> node that got placed on me. So I can't do that any, anymore. You know, there's been a couple times where I've had to go back through and like, reconstruct my team. But it's actually, you know, the fights have not been unfair. It's more yeah. just like, oh, I got to I gotta figure this out. There's is is interesting. Did you get the survey that they sent out? I I have week. done, but I haven't filled it in yet. Okay, because a, a lot of that's about like how often do you read nodes and like where where are you like we're most worried about counters and things mm. like that. And it's just like I was I was talking a lot about Alliance War, but I think it applies here. Is like a lot a, a lot of the countering this in this game is like oh well, would there be some unintended consequence that I've missed deep yeah. in this description? <laughs> Do you know what? that's a very good idea for a topic for, our, for for like a future podcast and a video as well mental load something that Kaban yeah. mentioned like a long time ago and that's the thing that I kind of get at the moment where I'm looking at stuff where yeah I no, I is it a very kind of um I'd say basic mindset that I have that when I first started the game, what I liked about the game was you could just go in and fight the same way, you know, you got your, yep. your Tekkens, your street mm-hmm. fighters where you go into fight. Now, like nowadays it's um there's more thought process that kind of has to be done with it. And a lot of time when I'm putting together guides, I'm kind of thinking like, okay, so now I've got to consider 
uh, I've got to consider the node. The champion interacts with the node. Uh, a champion that's able to then deal with a boss because the node on the boss may be different, but at the same yep. time is then looking at, okay, well, now I've got to think about potentially seven stars with stat focus having some kind of implication to help out with that particular node. And then we've also got relics in the equation, like how that interacts with that particular um, element to mm-hmm. it as well. And I'm, I'm looking at this, that's, that's four layers of thought process before I even get into the fight. And it's like, oh, why... Why is, and also, yeah. if there's something individual on the path, I'm like, mm-hmm. oh, this, this, or or an alliance war where it's like, oh, I've never seen this defender on this node, yes, before. Which is that's that is usually the thing that gets me, where it's like, mm. you know, like because there's so many edge cases cases now with with things like immunity, like yeah, no one's just immune to something anymore. Like <laughs> this one got me into trouble the other day. I I, I may have talked about this before, but it's like. I was using infamous Iron Man to counter a Mephisto on a, like a hazard shift because mm, uh, yeah. that a shock has hazard shift, right? So you're like, oh, well, he's shock immune. Well, he's not really shock immune. Yeah. He's shock immune when the buff's up, but the buff's not going to be up for the first 15 seconds versus, <laughs> versus Mephisto. <laughs> Right, so it's like all these like this will work with asterisks, asterisks, asterisks. Yeah, <laughs> if you play it right, if you know what you're getting into, um, it's you know, or uh, just all this stuff. It's like sometimes you forget and you like make a dumb mistake, like you bring a a, a kingpin versus a, an apocalypse, and you're like, oh, these aren't gonna purify, are they? No, <laughs> <laughs> I'm in trouble. <laughs> I'm in danger. Yeah, I'm in. I'm in danger. So you just like, yeah. There was definitely one time where I I didn't look and I did that. I had to go into into alliance chat. I was like, hey guys. So I did something dumb. Yeah. Uh, I didn't go into the fight. I didn't do something that dumb. <laughs> I realized it on the load screen, but I'm gonna need some help. Yeah. Um. Uh, so yeah. Th- but that's like that's the thing. It's not just like oh yeah. Like I can trust this champion to be immune to everything, or my champion purifies, so I can trust that it. it's always gonna purify. But it won't against these opponents. Or mm. then the whole thing with like cleanse and this. Uh, I don't even want it. <laughs> oh, <about> that. <laughs> every, everything with cleanse. Everything's got cleanse. Right. Nowadays. But it's it's all you know. It's the. <laughs> layer on layer that they've just sort of laddered everything yeah. up it's like well this counters this but this counters the counter and this counters the counter to the counter and it's like well what if you don't know like the eight-year history of mcoc and why all this is the way yeah <laughs> the way it is it's absolutely uh it's absolutely mind-blowing and, and that's the kind of stuff that gets people like really frustrated because it's yeah. like i thought my champ did x mm. it's like and think that's like one complete thought and it's like no no it's actually like a whole paragraph (laughs) yeah of what your champ's actually doing and i think they're it seemed from the survey that they're trying to bring some of that into the screen uh like when you're selecting a counters and sort of a good idea bad idea like this champ has a good win rate versus this other champ it seems like they're headed in that direction but it's like i don't know if if they can program the game to be smart enough with like yes 200 plus champs where it's like this champ versus this champ in this mode with these nodes yeah i think it'd be okay it, that's the thing about chat like chat recommendations they've got something with relics at the moment where they kind of go yeah. oh we recommend this this champion with it it's not brilliant to be honest but yeah. if that that particular not what well, kind of te- technology that would be down to an individual caban perspective to go um here's uh, Act 8.3.1 quest. Um, these uh, yep. no, where it comes up with like you click the path, it comes at the drop down of the nodes. It's like whether or not they then have something where like an eye where you click it and go like uh, uh, recommend re- recommended uh, champions for the path, and then that kind of like allows for 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 that there, and that that's good for kind of sort of time saving because you go like okay, well these champions are recommended by command to deal with this, or something that recommends to do this this this, which covers covers that. Right. That decreases a lot of mental load, and this is the thing about having our quality of uh, life uh, Im- improve within the in the game, especially for time saving because command have yeah. got some time saving um, things in mind. I mean, the we'll go into it now into an arena and talk about uh, that stuff because. It's been a good week for the first, um, I'd say, yeah, the first round of Arena. 
And yeah. second round, well, second round ish. Second round, it kind of felt fell back into bad times, in that we started seeing arena results come up. And give it a, get an example. We um we saw that seven, I think it was seventy seven mil was enough to get a six star moon dragon, and mm-hmm. in the round two, ninety mil I think was not enough to get a six star. So we've seen first round, first round good. Yeah. Like the first started. This, this is my concern of where arena goes. Now that there's more places available, we it's still better to get it's for 90 still, mil. It's still better, but now more players think they can get in the pool. Yeah. And suddenly you're back to where you were. Yeah. And that's, that's a, that's a problem because we had a good place. Uh, and that's the thing we, when the last time I think something like this happened, we get that kind of that sweet spot, that good place. And then, yep. Um, after that particular point in time, it then gets um, it gets it gets worse. I'm not going to say it's like ridiculously worse. It's just a case of like people will start feeling it. Uh, so sure, if you are a person that goes out for these champions, do be aware you might have to. Do, I don't want to say you have to do more because then you know that's a part of the problem of going well. Push more. Yeah, and scores are inflated. It means everybody doesn't get that opportunity, and we we get. Yeah. I think the base... I mean, this is, you know, we don't, I don't think we get into arena predictions as much as we used to as a, mm. as a community, but I think that was a big part of it back in the day where everyone be like, well, Rich, what do you, you know, do, yeah. what do you think about this? Or what are, what are the historical, uh, you know, spreadsheets say about these arena cutoffs or, uh, you know, you'd see, that, uh, you know, at, there was, uh, you know, crafty grinding back in the day. Yeah. He had his whole like arena prediction channel. That was, that was great. But, uh, you know, we the end, you know, we're all guessing. Yeah. But if the consensus of the community becomes like Silver Surfer is going for ninety five million, then the thought process becomes, well, I'm gonna go to one hundred and five. Yeah. To be safe, and then you know, or whatever it is. Yeah. But that you know, that's kind of the thing is people tend to gauge the cutoffs and then like, well, I got to build in a margin of error, mm. and the escalation continues, and then of course, um. You know, as champions, bigger rosters, yeah, bigger scores. I mean, at the end of the day, it, it comes down to rounds. Yeah, because you know, from the time investment standpoint, it's like we we focus on the points, but really, it, at the end of the day, when you're doing a featured arena grind, it becomes about how many rounds do I need to do to get that yeah. score? Because that's where the physical mental toll comes comes into play. Which uh, you know, we've both we've both done these. I think you've done a few more than I have, but. Uh, they are quite ludicrous as far as being a time suck. Yeah, I th- I keep saying to myself like I'd love to do them, but then I kind of look at the amount of time investment versus right. like when I should when I could be doing like other things with with, with my life. Because um, it's really it's really three days. You just yeah. have to say this is what I'm doing for these three days, and you yeah. have to set alarms, and you know, it's you have to like okay, I know, and I know they just changed the refresh. Um, pattern on them mm. so i haven't done one of these since since that so i'm sure that you have to factor in but yeah like, i just remember like setting all these timers and then like when i would boost i would do like a countdown clock to like okay how many times can i refresh before yeah. my boost run off and you know it's how many units am i going to use like it is uh it is a very stressful yeah <laughs> thing to do uh both in you know the, the very the, the small chunks of it but also like you know, this sort of 72 hour journey and like, where am I with the pace and do I need to catch up? And every time you think you're ahead, as soon as you take a second off, then you're behind. Yeah. It's, it's not, it's not a fun process. No. Uh, overall. I mean, this is, this is nothing new I'm saying, but it's, <laughs> uh, it's, it's a lot. And you definitely see people who have done them before get super burned out. So you got to yeah. be really careful if you're going to go for, the the featured champion yeah i think that's that you have to make a decision whether or not you're just a milestone yep. and wait your six star shards for when champions enter into features and that's yeah. kind of like the way that i'm kind of approaching things nowadays is i'll just wait Me until too. they're into featured because then it's just a case of like having your weekends and and also like if you don't have time midweek because you may be like working and stuff it's just making sure that you're looking after number one i mean like if, you, if you've got the time mm. for the stuff you've got the time for the stuff uh, sure. and if you don't then you, you don't but it's just you just gotta look after yourself um 
talking of uh, progress and kind of uh, quality of life and time saving, Battlegrounds yeah. improvements were announced. Battlegrounds improve the the mode where nobody's happy. Yes, absolutely. I mean, if you if you want to go on the forums, like again, it continues yeah. to be the most talked about topic. Uh, so people do care about it. They have strong opinions, but it seems like every Battlegrounds thread I read, someone is upset for a different reason right it's either the bugs or the lag or you know where you're supposed to hit your uh you know sort of your even uh you know keel as far as your 50 percent win rate and where your progress is going to stop and you know every time you know i you know you see the the paragon player stuck in bronze and silver then you'll see a post from a throne breaker who's like ah, i just can't get out of diamond one this is crappy and then, like <laughs> everyone just, it just blows up because everyone's yeah. like well you should try that from bronze three you know so it's it's like it, like i said it's it, it reminds me a lot about realm yeah where it was like so hard to tune this competitive stuff so that's that such everybody's a good happy. point that's such a good comparison dan because that was the that was really one of the big downfalls of realm is they could yeah. never get matchmaking right we were talking about mm. that from day one of the beta until the shut the game off yeah you know now mcoc is lucky because battlegrounds is just a part of the game not the core mode of the game um but yeah they did have they did have a big announcement uh looks like they're gonna be doing some refunds for all those those uh lag spikes which yeah. is nice and, and a little bit of trophy Con, uh, compensation next season starting on may 24th but the big the biggest shift is in the medals mm. and in the early victory track giving you two medals yeah uh instead of one when you win and you're only losing one medal when you lose so this is kind of something not exactly like what we were talking about months ago rich but this is fairly similar like what, yeah. do you, what do you think they're trying to accomplish here do you know what i don't know i mean for me personally the, the biggest thing was all about time saving and kind of progress mm-hmm. and kind of aligning those two things especially yeah. with the state of like the, the like bugs that are currently in with it you know i, I want to invest my time and fi- f- feel that i'm kind of getting up further and i guess it's a problem for caban because they need people matchmaking against each other at, yeah. at, at higher higher thresholds not completely right. because we've still got this issue that matchmaking isn't perfect it isn't brilliant and it's an, this is a, a small w in other l's that need to be kind of like addressed but i think it is a case of progressing people against that kind of being stuck in a stuck in a rut yeah. stuck in a right. limbo um and and wanting to kind of go well why am I here? Like I, at times, I mean, look, from my experience with doing battlegrounds this season was that you know two seasons ago I had a, or three seasons ago I I was happy enough and then it was just oh right so I'm not able to get out of here because a lot of the time I have bugs uh, I have my defenders yeah. auto selecting for me I had an attacker mm-hmm. auto selecting someone contacted me on Twitter and went oh GG's on the game and I was like GG's. I fielded it as a defender, an archangel. <laughs> Who fields an archangel did, as a did defender? Did you think that was intentional? <laughs> did you think that was intentional? Yeah, exactly. And they were like, Wait, oh. but you took you took the best, like the best attacker in the game, and put it like, as a defender, and put it as a defender. Yeah, like there's no there's there's zero intention to draft archangel and put him on defense yeah and i was like <laughs> did you think i was and i was like you know do you, we, i thought do we taking a piss because you then use as an attacker an archangel so he yeah. used an archangel to attack my archangel that right. i yeah Which i he beat in 18 seconds exactly so i was like <laughs> this is oh ggs yeah ggs yeah because because that's because that's what i was i was going yeah. for um and, and they, but they did say like I didn't want to win like that, and that's that's the thing. It's like it just it right. doesn't it doesn't. And then the, the thing is like how karma works. Then the next match, the person I was facing off against, they um they forfeited, but they didn't forfeit. They had the bug, where it's yeah. like the instant yeah. instant loss bug. And I'm just thinking yeah. like this is this is why we need these changes because it's like having that 
that W of the medals or the two medals to get out of the situation and go, oh, you can go like, oh, this isn't great. But at least with that one win, I'm able to get to the next kind of like level. Like, oh my God, I had this bug. Well, that's fine. The next match, if I get a win, at least I'm going up kind of thing. So yeah, there's, yeah. there's that so, at least kind of thought process that at yeah. least I can get some positive here in an otherwise negative uh, situation. I'm looking forward to the store improvements because I do think there's a lot of stuff that's kind mm-hmm. of overcharged like five star uh radic shards they're very overcharged oh, for the amount yeah. of volume that you yeah, have for sure um more rank up materials being available which i think would be quite good i don't know with the seven stars injected we could see a reduction in the six star signature stones i think that's a bit of an ask for caban because it will be about again lower players like i don't think they'll have like well maybe they would kind of like add something for paragon that will be specific when it comes to certain things I know they haven't announced that. We'll have to kind of like see how that all kind of like fact factors in. But I am happy to to see like improvements to battlegrounds. It's taken a long time, and you know we we have talked about yep. this quite quite a lot about how we'd see improvements to the mode. Uh, and for me, it's just bugs. I need to see like I love the the, the progression stuff. The stuff we talked about me and you, and we were like, sure. we loved we love to see these things improved about the mode to kind of improve progress. I think in the future we'd like to see something where. You get a um, auto buy-in, an auto buy-in, but a kind of um, return at rank type situation. Yeah, retain progress. Retain that's, progress. That's, that's the it. big. That's the big one for me that I'm I'm waiting for. Yeah, same here. It's some sort of retained progress because I do think if they execute that right, it's going to solve a lot of problems. Yeah. Um, in battlegrounds for a lot of different players, I think yeah. for a, a player like me who. You know, may not have the time to invest to if I could get to Gladiator Circuit in a single season, mm. uh, then immediately repeating that grind would be very difficult for me. Yeah, how and, was I? Just, and, I would describe this as like it's imagine running a a hundred meter sprint, and yeah. um, the people that you're against are like Usain Bolt, but Usain Bolt yeah. just gets to start halfway up the track at fifty meters. Yeah. Why does he need to start at 50 meters? He's the fastest man in the world. Yeah. And that, and like I'm on the starting blocks going, well, there's, there's no point running yeah. running the race. I'm not going to catch right. him. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, I, I, I get, you know, I kind of get both sides of it. I think, you know, it's interesting. We're now seven seasons in. You know, even the players that can blow through mm. to uh, Gladiator Circuit in the first week, uh, they're, I think they're getting to the point like, why do I have to do this? Like, yeah. I've already proven, like, I know how to do this. And they're get sure they're getting the rewards, but mm. I think they're just like, yeah, I just want to get into Gladiator Circuit and, and duke it out there. Yeah. Um. So it's kind of like you know, once I don't, I don't know, it's you know, like with soccer, they don't relegate the whole Premier League if you win, you know, if you win the championship, you're not starting in a lower division. Exactly. Uh, exactly. So I I don't know. It's it's I I get that there's a lot to 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 deal with here and clearly this metal change is probably one of those like incremental steps that yeah like to do yeah let's see what this does for a couple seasons i agree um you know and uh and then they'll probably make some more adjustments in that that could be to buy mm. them time for developing tech or maybe they just want to get the data uh but you know, at least where you only need one or two wins, really, to get out of bronze, silver, like yeah, there there is a heightened chance of of progress earlier on for people. I still yeah. think we're gonna run into a lot of the same issues where with with the matchmaking, especially for some of those lower players who are able to progress. Yeah early in the victory track because their matchmaking is against similar accounts. And then it seems like somewhere in platinum or diamond that goes away and you're just in the whole pool with everybody. Mm. Like if that's still there, those folks are still going to be running into that same complaint. And then we get into that debate about, well, should a throne breaker be in diamond? One? Yeah, that's, that's, so. that's going to be the, the, the big thing about, uh, yeah, I guess we. Like the, this is where I kind of thought wouldn't it be best to have like several different types of battleground, not tiers, but kind of um, yeah. per rating, or I think it's kind of per because I was going to oh yeah per 
titleage. Like, but the thing is, you can have some absolute just stonking accounts at Thronebreaker right. level, at right. Paragon level, at Cavalier level, because people don't have the time or yeah don't have the time to kind of progress that people aren't purposely going i don't want to progress the throne break i don't want to progress the paragon right it's right. just because the people don't have the time to do it um yeah. you know for, for for m she's a casual with the game and um again it's still something that people find a little bit kind of weird that she plays in such a casual thing but it's like that's what she likes mm-hmm. she likes playing casually and she is only uncollected and just went from conqueror i think yep. it is uncollected so it's like but that's 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 where she's where she's at um because she doesn't have a huge amount of time so would it be best to have different types of rate account rated or prestige rated i don't know account uh, you know rated thresholds of mm-hmm. um, yeah some kind of sort of hard bracketing for yeah. the season yeah so you kind of know the pool that you're uh competing against i mean that 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 could be that could be interesting i think you know the the biggest thing for me is sort of that like perception of like everyone thinks they should be able to progress so when they can't it it feels bad um and i think i think that's what's problematic for a lot of players is you know there's not much messaging around like what what should be your reasonable expectations for how far you're able to to get with your skill level and your account. Like, I think we've all kind of like, you know, you don't see this as much as with Alliance war, right? Not where not. people, you know, you see people like I'm stuck in platinum four. I should be in masters. Like, <laughs> it's like, okay, like you can get, you know, they, you just don't see that. Right. Yeah, but exactly. you see that with battlegrounds all the time where I'm in, x i feel like i should be in y but matchmaking isn't fair exactly and that's that is something that matchmaking is still something like i don't know if i think kabam didn't really and not to say they didn't understand battlegrounds they've had an unexpected win with battlegrounds it's just a case of there's a lot of factors you know 10 plus things that are affecting the way that they've not they're, they're kind of like them not make they are making it up as they go along when it but they're, they're yeah. kind of they're guiding the mode through yes um complaints and issues and bugs and right and, stuff like and that. they and they get um you know the the biggest problem is of course that they get conflicting complaints right yeah. like you you the complaint about the lower players that uh can't progress and the complaints from the higher players that can't uh progress are in direct conflict with each other yeah because the lower players don't want to play the higher players and the higher players are complaining that they're not playing the lower players yeah so it's, that's it's... the you know those those two things finding a way for them to coexist yeah in a way where everyone's having fun is the whole rub and i think that's so. going to be the thing about you know the buying the what is it called buying the, the 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 buyback into like gladiator circuit yeah and mainly like kabam treating like two modes like one being gladiator circuit and one being victory track because they're essentially sure. two two modes kabam yeah. needs uh need players to to progress and get out of uh victory track as as quickly as possible at a similar pace as some of the top players and at the same time you need some it's just a case of having a the ecosystem i yeah. You know, I feel for Kabam that they've got to kind of like deal with this. But the problem is, is when they were thinking about bringing this mode live as a non-beta and kind of like a, a live thing, and I still consider, consider it as an extended beta, these are the variables that should have been considered from the very start and and, and kind of like being prepared for. Mm-hmm. not saying they aren't now. But it's a case like yeah. now we're going, okay, well, people can't progress. So we're now putting in these improved victory track kind of progression-based system. Uh, for it and we're going to see more improvements uh, right yeah 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 i mean it's again it's not it's not surprising what they're doing with the the tokens like this was there was a lot of feedback or sorry the metals not the tokens but yeah there was a lot of feedback around you know a different you know they kind of tweaked it in a way that maybe wasn't what a lot of people were suggesting but they kind of they kind of did you know where it's like yeah. hey can a win be worth two and a loss be worth one or like i saw some suggestions where it's like okay well if you win two nothing that's two medals if you win two to one that's one medal if you lose 
one to two, that's a zero. If you lose, you know, two straight, then you're lo- minus one. So it's it's you're sort of, you know, if you can get like the best win, you're progressing more. If you mm. you know if you just barely get beat, you're not going backwards. And sort of the, how all that mentally feels for the the player. So they took, a, you know, they took a small step in in that direction. Yeah. Um, I do have again. It will be interesting to see how it plays out if they can. You know, they're going to need to have a much cleaner, mm-hmm. uh, you know, season for people to get the engagement because I mean I think we were seeing towards the end of last season like it was just hard to get a match during that last week for some people. Yeah, I think the people were people just gave up. The, this there is a big there was a big stain on the um on the mode for oh, last for night. Sure. I think for as sure. well for a low a low amount of points you put into this particular last season season seven you're yep. gonna see like some some kind of like you're gonna be like oh last last time i was like uh ten thousand position and this time i'm five thousand position so you, you'll probably gain from this season from right from if you did the same amount of work yeah, yeah you um, probably you probably moved up yeah, uh, that I mean that's good in some ways, but that's sure. that's, just, that's again, no, not, not great for the health of the mode. But no, it might it's be not. good for some individuals. <laughs> yeah, uh, so, that's why yeah. I'm hoping with our, our, our alliance has got like our alliance tries to front up. Um, you know, we did well last. I really want to get back to like uh, next season is put, put in a bit more effort, but I am concerned yeah. about the, uh, the the bug still, and that's the thing that kind of like always sticks in my mind. Like, I, I really love the mode, but I what I yeah. don't love is the um, is the bugs, but now looking in season eight, I'm I'm gonna think positively that if we have these progression things, even at least going like, okay, well I I've, I've had a bad run, I've got a bug, uh, and, and then I then I kind of like made me feel kind of really bad, so I then kind of messed mm. up my second fight, but my third fight I got a win, so I've now gone up. Okay, great. And then before you know it, like you can take so many L's, but that one W that you get can allow you to get up to a certain point, and it's like okay, well I'll leave the mode for today right. and I'll come back to it next day. I'm, I, I've also got to remember when I play is to play at certain times. If I play certain times during the day, I get better match matchmaking. Oh, I found that too. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm not going to reveal which time frame it is because I don't want people kind of like coming into my particular time frame. But I think a lot of people are learning to kind of like when to play. Um, so mm-hmm. I'm kind of, yep. I think that's, that's the thing. Like I, I think I totaled like, um, I get more W's in a specific time zone than I would with the L's that I take in a different time zone. And no, again, this, these are the things where I need to kind of like just register it in the brain because yep. then that's that's me getting that sweet spot of like going, mm-hmm. I like the, I, you know, I like, obviously everyone loves getting wins. And, yep. But you kind of like, now you you feel like you're weaving yourself through the mode to kind of find when's the best, best time frame. And that only sure. comes from exper- experimenting with yeah. um, the stuff. Yeah, you start noticing those trends. Like, yeah. hey, I'm winning a lot at this time, and I'm not winning uh, at this time. I wonder what's going on. What what is there's clearly a difference in the player pool yeah. at a certain time. So yeah, so yeah. I I also that I recommend with that with people is like just notice stuff. Say like, okay, well, yeah, um, play in play for an hour in um, morning midday and evening if you can of course like you yep. know weekends sure everybody's gonna be playing whatever but um yeah, yeah experiment and you may find that you're kind of getting more more wins and stuff it's a good topic for a video i, I kind of like yeah. two kind of interesting topics oh my god i just forgot what the first what the first one what was it? mental load that was i've got to make mental a note. load yeah i've got to make a note of that mental <laughs> load um and i will probably do we, like we, a... we usually have between one and three uh video de- ideas for you yeah. by the time we're done with this podcast and you have been uh you've been churning them out this week you have been a busy boy yeah i've got to watch out i've kind of like reached a burnout with it not completely yeah. but i yesterday i was like I, I need to kind of like focus in on a, on a topic i kept on thinking to myself i want to do this i want to do that and the video ideas were just shit and i was just trying to go like mm-hmm. okay well um how am I going to make this work? And then I was like, okay, so I did uh, yesterday a mantis. I've had a couple of sponsor things, but uh, I, you know, that's, yep. that's by the by. But I've enjoyed the kind of like stuff that I've done. Next week, I want to come back stronger and more focused, and kind of go, mm. okay, well, these these are topics to kind of go over. Um, and go a little bit more time to it because I like the mantis video that I did yesterday yep. about taking down that. That was fun. Um, and then I've just got like a few kind of crystal openings and stuff. And I'm going to do a BG meta mm. season eight uh, video. Yep. Um, 
and then I need to kind of take a break over the weekend, just get my thoughts, uh, start scripting and structuring a bit more. And I think then I can get an, a good kind of positive like wave for starting next week. Um, there you go. I think we both need that. We both need some time. Yeah, we. I, yeah, both need to sort of like just, uh, you know, reboot the the brain. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, sometimes you just gotta, you know, it's no matter what you you do in life, whether it's the game or your job or whatever. Sometimes it's good to just call a timeout. Yeah. Let the brain rest. Just kind of like let the thoughts come. Go for a walk. Yeah. You know, unplug and and that is that's super helpful. Like usually. Uh, you know, I, I tell this to, to people like when you think that you can't take a break and yeah. or pause or like take some time to consider something, that's when you absolutely need to call a time out on yourself and, yeah. and do that. Like when you find yourself, the more you're rushing, the more you like, I actually need to slow down. Like I probably don't need to rush as much as I think I need yeah. to rush. But, but the, the reason I brought up you bringing, um, you, you put out so many videos this week because you sent a note about some people sent some very nice things. Yes, on, uh, yeah. Our uh, uh, our podcast and, and uh, our return to podcasting last week. Yeah. Uh, so I was like, oh, I'm gonna go check these out. So I go on your channel and I'm just like, okay, I gotta find the podcast. I was like, scroll. Yes. Scroll. I was like, where is this? I was like, how many videos has he put out in the last five uh, days? <laughs> yeah. I was like, you're you are a busy boy, Rich. Yeah, um, I, I kind of it's it's weird as well because I've been uh, applying for jobs. Uh, funny enough, yesterday mm-hmm. I did get in trouble because in the morning I was meant to put out the washing, and I forgot. And the thing you say about like going like you got time <laughs> to take time to go out for kind of like for you know a fresh air and stuff. So I was like, sure, I, was, sure. I applied for a ton of jobs. I got that mantis video done. I had uh, two recruitment uh, meetings, mm-hmm. and my dad called because he's concerned about like. Uh, are you going to have enough money? Uh, you know, yep. uh, uh, what, what's happening with this stuff? And I try and explain, you know, I still got the YouTube stuff, so it's going to be okay. Yep. And I'm applying for things and he still has no idea like what, what I do. I don't think he had sure. any idea about sure. this, this con- yeah. contract that I had and being laid off mm. um, and, and stuff. Um, but, um, and then after that, I was like, Oh, and he said about the washing. And I thought, Oh no, I've not put out the washing. <laughs> so um, I put out the washing and just thought, do you know what? I've done all this stuff today. I'm going to go for a run. And then there I went for a run and I bumped into some people that I know around, around the corner from work. And I had a chat with them about stuff. And, and, then, and then I thought, do you know what? It's been a stressful day, but I've come back and everything's okay. And M was not happy with me because that washing was meant to go out early in the morning. Um, and I was like, oh, damn. And that's, that's kind of We've like, all been there, Rich. We've yeah. We've all been there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, we we did kind of like you know obviously you know you you fall out with stuff and oh, you, yeah. you, no, you make you make up on situations absolutely um, and I also I did a few other things as well that I completely forgot but it's like you but it's important to take even though like I t- I took that time to kind of get oh, I got told off um, <laughs> I went out and had that exercise and I must admit like I started today feeling a little bit more I had a good sleep I think as yep. a result of that and I feel like fresh today to kind of like get all the there stuff that I want to do before the weekend. So you're right. You just got to take that kind of time for your mental state. Just to kind of like chill out your yeah. mind, your, your body's your body. To, I, I try and talk to, and it's a bit weird to say talk to my body. But I was like, my body tells me <laughs> like, I, you, you need to go for a run. You need exercise. Right. You need, yeah. you need fresh air. Um, yep. and it's so important for like, mental well being. And I think that's yeah. that's kind of like we've probably come to an end of the uh, the, the podcast. Yeah, I mean, uh, just real quick, oh, did yes. you open any six star features? No, no, I didn't. I do oh, want okay. to, but um, gotcha. because I'm in a situation where I need dupes, mm-hmm. I'm. Oh, you're you need as many seven stars. Yeah, so you can't afford to do that right now. Which is really sad yeah. because I feel that my yeah. roster, there's champions that I want in that that pool. I want Vivian. Yeah, there's I some, want some good champs in there. Um, yeah. I also want Baron Zima. I. One, yeah, Zemo's at the top of my list, which is yeah. a wor- which is a worry for me going into season eight because I reckon that he's going to be put on a lot of the fences. I would, I would think, so. I think there's going to be a lot of at least rank four Baron Zemo's running around season eight. That scares me, Jesus. And, and the other thing, you know, he's a top five prestige. Yeah. So, you know, people are gonna there's going to be a need to rank someone like him for a variety of reasons. So yeah. he's one of those that's just going to end up being up there because of that. Yeah. Never that, mind what he can do. That's uh, yeah. That gives me the heebie-jeebies. Yeah. There are counselor. I'm not yeah. saying it like that, but it's like one of these situations yeah. of you would. 
I would be very surprised if I didn't see him. And it's disappointing I wasn't able to do any you know, six star features, but it's just a case of like, I need seven star shards. I need to try and give myself right. a chance to get this event done. And I've kind of calculated sure. I could, if I pushed this weekend to get 10 six stars uh, opened. Yep. And that's the difference of going, okay, well now you've got a um, uh, hundred thousand shards or do you go for was it nine ninety thousand for? It's basically I've done the I've done the math. I can't. Mm -hmm. I'm, it's too early for me to do math. <laughs> um, but to yeah, the spreadsheets, Rich. To the spreadsheets. Yeah, I mean, I, I just there's a high high chance I will get more seven star shards with doing what opening at basics than I would do with the features. I don't know. Could, right. I don't know. Yeah. hundred percent. Almost I, certainly. Yeah, yeah, almost certainly. Yeah, it's it's kind of like yeah. a, it's a thing, and I need to bank on that. In order to then go, okay, so what am I doing? Am I doing Act 8.2 completion? Will I have enough in time? Uh, my part one, part two, and part three, my trilogy. Um, <laughs> I'm going to have to like redo the thumbnails to be like Lord of the Rings trilogy or yeah. something like that. Rich's Seven Star Journey, a trilogy. Yeah, I might actually change the yep. thumbnail and I'll be like, I'll call it like Lord of the, Lord of the Seven Stars or something in mm -hmm. a kind of font and kind of like do... Yeah, I'm actually going to do that. I'm going to there change the thumbnail. I'm going to change Let's the thumbnail go. from Wednesdays and then kind of like do it like and then do it to the titles like the the fellowship of the seven star or the fellowship or something uh, and then it's like the the second one will be on Sunday so today uh the two something to do with the two towers I don't know I'll, I'll figure out something something like that. Anyway, what are you up to uh or what are you trying to be up to this weekend and next week? Just, just get a little, little rest, a little, little rest. Go for, go for a walk. Maybe, maybe catch some of those Pokemon that are there around. Uh, nice. You know, uh, that's, uh, you know, but I gotta complete the seven star. Yeah, no, I okay, yeah. As much as I can, I, that's really that's the one thing I gotta focus on. I gotta do uh, as much of the seven star quest as I can, so that I can minimize the units that I spend. Yeah to get to whatever level i decide yeah. i need to get to but i mean i you know i've been thinking about july 4th and it's just like i know i'm gonna spend some units either way this is, seems like the sure thing right now yeah. you just never know with it. sometimes cyber weekend july 4th it's amazing yeah and sometimes i look at those unit offers and i'm just like why did i save yeah uh, you know and and i don't want to be in a situation where in six weeks i'm like oh man the seven star thing was way better yeah i so. think it is going to be i th personally yeah. feel that it may be best to think about cyber weekend more than july 4th mainly yeah. because you get more of a, a choice and that's that's my focus mm -hmm. is going like okay well july 4th is going to be a write-off for me in any case i've already yep. spent units in order to get paragon crystals to get myself through this event because of my uh, sure. issue with the uh the, the seven the seven star yeah uh, and that you know that's because i can't access the shooting star quest so therefore i can't get more paragon crystals so therefore i need to buy more unit spend my not buy units yeah. but spend, spend units more, yeah. in order to get and i've got i've got units to bank i've got you know two i'm looking at my screen i've got two thousand uh units left now so i've got something there as a cushion uh yep i yeah i'm kidding myself if like i think i'm gonna have more but pfft, you know time i've got a yeah I, time yeah you yeah. can't you can't worry about it you make a you make a, uh, a choice and you you just you gotta live with it so. yeah i mean i've got i, I just yeah. gotta focus on getting a, a an, another job um i'm gonna right. yeah, i'm still too. yeah i'm still, obviously still kind of gonna yeah. grow my youtube channel that's kind of like what i'm planning to do and kind of like make this as a you know as something that can like pay my bills and, until to that point but it's like thank god i have it because if uh, if i didn't i would we, we me and em would be in in dire straits right now so yeah um and there's other people in kind of worse situations in in the industry it's like there's not and there's not many people giving people chances i i found and that's that's an issue a lot of right game... well that's that's yeah. the thing is is once uh, you know once the job market starts getting tighter everyone wants like the perfect candidate they don't yeah. want to take any risk they don't want to give anyone sort of a chance on potential mm. uh like you were talking about the other the other day it's just like it's like well i've got you know the this you know, it, it, the, if the community manager experience that you've got didn't exactly line up with mm. what they were expecting, you had to connect the dots for them. And then it's just whether or not the hiring manager 
kind of believes that. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm... but it's it, it's tough for the people on that end where they're like, well, I feel like I got to I got to pick the person who presents the least risk to me if they don't work out. Yeah. And I you think know, this it's is, like this is where, you know, Kabam, you know, Kabam, as much as I criticize him and stuff. The, the way that they kind of allowed and they gave a chance, uh, even like when I spoke to uh, Caban Mike, he said that, you know, we believed in Jax. And, right. And like, you know, uh, Jax came from like doing Disney on Ice. He does have a, you yep. know, he's, he does his own um, like, like Twitch and he does community he, management. He does some streaming. He has sort of that host background. Yeah, from absolutely. Some of his education. So yeah. you could see how it could translate but you had to take that leap of faith yes and it wasn't that's, like that's... they hired him away from another studio yeah and that's the thing so, them yeah. giving him a chance to you know to prove what he could do because he believed and he he does what yeah. he what he says prior to to being community manager and he this is why he stand stands out above the rest of the people that before no disrespect to the likes of adora thel uh kaban boo yeah it's just a case of like he has what this community needs and yeah. someone that i you know rate a lot and that's the thing i i, I and you know in life and what you know if anybody's watching that has a business and you have an opportunity for a position give someone a chance yeah as you never know what they're capable of doing and you know kabam jacks even like for me like i was given a chance with what i did with my game capture job at, at final strike is is a case of like I was given a chance and I learned a lot of things. I researched, I learned mm-hmm. like how to do certain types of elements of presentation and things I didn't have any experience in, and I just kind of learned it as I went. And right. yeah, so that's the thing. Give pe- give people chances. Give give people give people a chance, and then if uh, you know if they uh, you know show that they've got the drive, I think they're gonna yeah. they're gonna do well. Like there's. You know, I, I see this all the time when, you know, we're interviewing people for jobs. And mm. I, I, you know, every once in a while someone comes across like, oh, man, like someone just needs to give this person a chance. Yeah. You know, like they they've got something going on. Like it may not be the, you know, the perfect way that you would script this resume for this position. But if, if you would give this person if someone's someone who gives this person a chance is going to be rewarded. Yeah. You know, so it's it's I see I do see that. I I know I know what you're talking yeah. about. Yeah. Rich, there's a lot of people out there just need someone to, you know, give them the opportunity to get their foot in the door and they're just going to do some great stuff. So. Yeah, true, true. Yep. And on that note, bit of positivity yeah. on the weekend. Thank you everybody for for listening and watching. Uh that's the episode and we'll see you in the next one when there's lots Thanks, of stuff everybody. to talk about. Thank you everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.